Hello, and thanks for tuning into the Red Brick. And as you see before you, we will be reviewing the Lego Office set. Now, it comes with 15 minifigures right here. Lots of details, like as you see right here on top of this bookshelf, the stapler and the jello. And then, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's Phyllis's knitting things. And so without further ado, let's get right into the minifigures. So first up is Michael Gary Scott, Regional Manager of Dunder, Mith Dunder Mifflin. Daryl Philbin in his gray warehouse suit. Kevin Malone, looking bald, not wearing his wig. Pam Beasley, receptionist. Jim Halpert with a blue shirt and tie. Phyllis, Phyllis Vance with glasses and pink cardigan and stuff. And then Dwight Schrute of Schrute Farms with his grim expression, brown suit coat and yellow shirt. Kelly Kapoor here. And here's um, uh, Meredith Palmer. I don't know if you can see it well. And here is Miss Angela Martin. Or maybe that was when she was with the Senator. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you know her last name. And Stanley Hudson. S with his black, no, sorry, um, gray suit coat, white shirt, and brownish orange tie. And this is Toby Flenderson with his uh, beige type pants or his beige type suit coat and looking pretty poor, pretty miserable. And Creed Bratton of the Grassroots or Dunder Mifflin Incorporated. Ryan Howard, the man who lost millions from Dunder Mifflin. And last but not least, Oscar Martinez. So without further ado, let's get right into the set. So first up, see, um, as you can see, sorry, with these rails here in this black space, and then from Michael's office, that is one of the functionalities. It will pull its you can pull it out. And taking a further look into Michael's office here, let me get in the light. We have his Dundies, his world's best boss. And then back here is a certificate along with the American Eagle. Then on his desk, then on this little shelf over here is one of his golden tickets from the golden ticket episode then by his computer desk is the little post-it note saying hiya buddy along with Jan on the phone then even though it's under his desk if you remember the episode Packer laid a turd in his office so yeah And here's the outside with Dunder Mifflin sign by the door. And then moving into the main office, looking at Pam's corner here, as you see by the fax machine, there is a note to Dwight saying don't drink the coffee from that one episode where Dwight knocks Stanley over after Jim faxed him that note. Then down by the floor by the hanger is Pam, yeah, the hanger is Pam's teapot. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that through Michael's window or on his computer is the sad songs playlist on, sad song playlist on loop that he was playing when he broke up with Carol. And on Pam's computer, 
as you can see probably there is a bunch of text between her and Jim same thing on Jim's computer and then going on over here going back into the counting type counting part even though there isn't one, none sadly I don't know if you can see it hold on let me pull them out Uh, I can't pull them out, but Garbage the Cat is in there. And then behind this plant, underneath the boxes back here, is one of Dwight's giant longsword weapons. And then there's Mr. Simpson by the no smoking sign. And Phyllis's desk, Stanley's desk. Andy's desk, but sorry, sadly no Andy. Pam's picture of the office when she drew it or painted it, I'm not so sure. I think it was drawing. Then as we turn this around, we see the fire bucket or the fire can when Dwight lit a cigarette and threw it into the thing full of lighter fluid. And here is the conference room. And then behind, and then here's the clipboard saying, don't bother Luke. But it's like, don't, don't, don't. There's like four don'ts, so it's like a quadruple negative. Then behind that is the TV screen with the little cube. And it bounces around all day. And then if we move over into the accessories bin where all the other things are here is the interchangeable board with the pyramid scheme as you can see right there here is lazy scranton with michael and dwight jazzing out or rapping And I call this I call this Angela's Jazz Baby poster, as you can see right here. And here's another TV screen with Ryan getting hit in the face with a pizza slice when for the launch party. And moving that aside, there is the check made out to science for three hundred and forty dollars. So that's fun. Hold on just a second, I'm pulling extra things out. Sorry, this is taking a minute. Alright, we're good. Alright, here's some other memorabilia like Kevin's chili pot in the beginning of that one episode where he dropped the chili pot by reception and was trying to clean it up Kelly's chiclet birthday cake saying happy birthday Kelly Meredith's bat when she got bagged when Dwight bagged the bat over her head And this is a takeout menu gifted to Daryl for an accessory. And here, I don't know if you can see it well, is one of Dwight's shroot bucks that, you keep, that the office workers can use to buy special things from Dwight when he was manager. And then another thing is Stanley's crossword puzzles. As you see right there. Then hold on, I got some more stuff in here. Well, actually just the last thing is the extra sign that it came with, which is Diversity Day Take Two. And speaking of which, I forgot that but in the conference room it says it's your birthday for that 
Kelly's Chiclet Cake episode. And, sorry, I'm forgetting a lot of I, um, items or details. As you see on Stanley's computer, well, I don't know if you can see it very well, sorry, I'm repeating myself. There is the Dunder Mifflin website with the, the stick figure and the Christmas hat and the walker. Then there's the preset Dunder Mifflin screen. Troop Farms. Dwight's looking at his website on the B&B. &B. Then on Phyllis's is the Bob Vance. The Bob Vance website. Sorry about that. And that is it for the Dunder Mifflin office. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And please comment down below on which minifigure was your utmost favorite. And so then I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.